causes of diabetes and symptoms of diabetes in this video we'll be telling you about three major causes of diabetes and um also the types of diabetes that we have and then the 10 symptoms that suggest that you may have diabetes so please don't skip at any point most people think that diabetes is, is because they are taking lots of sugar or you know some certain things that they may have this is not entirely true it is true but it's not entirely true so please give me your undivided attention and don't skip at any point now what is diabetes diabetes simply means when your blood sugar level is higher than optimal okay this happens when now when you eat your food the um what there is what is called insulin okay it's produced by the beta cells of the pancreas okay when you eat this insulin is produced and helps deaminate the sugar pushing it inside your cells okay for your body to utilize it okay so when there is no insulin or the amount produced is not enough what your what happens is all those food you eat that your, your sugar level becomes high. your sugar doesn't get inside your cells it now stays in your blood because insulin is not produced or the amount produced is not enough okay so when you don't have insulin enough or is not produced your sugar level goes high blood glucose is high it's not going inside your cell because your body needs it okay for you to walk your body needs the glucose it needs the sugar but it's, it, it doesn't get it because there is no insulin and your body sh uh, your sugar level will just come up so this will now bring us on the causes now first of all there is what is called um diabetes that's the type of diabetes there's what is called type 1 diabetes type 2 diabetes and gestational diabetes now type 1 diabetes it usually happens when there is usually no cause okay it just happens and it's usually um in seen in the cases of autoimmune diseases when people their um their body sees themselves sees their body as um a foreign organism so their body starts attacking them so usually it's an it autoimmune there's really no cause it just happens okay most of the times it's not really because of um lifestyle it's not because of the person is not eating right it just happens autoimmune okay this is for type one it's also seen in children okay so this is for type one type two diabetes now is seen in the cases of um sedentary lifestyle you're eating consuming more sugar than your body needs and you are from your family most people have um family history of um diabetes so in this case now the insulin is produced but the amount produced is not enough because you're consuming lots of sugar you're con yeah you're consuming lots of sugar you're consuming lots of glucose so the insulin is being produced but it is not enough okay it is not enough so this is why when in the prevention we'll be talking about why you should do exercise because exercise actually helps you and it makes the insulin um level it makes your insulin work and you know more much will not be needed because you're burning some out so that is um type two you're eat, consuming lots of carbohydrates. You're not working out to help your insulin level and to help your body and family genetics, okay? So this is type 2, okay? Or the insulin produced, your body is not able to, you know, get, get the glucose. So these are the various things that can lead to diabetes type 2. Now, the third one, very important, is gestational diabetes, gestational diabetes is when a woman that is pregnant just develops diabetes it's usually happen only when women that are pregnant develops diabetes this is why um in pregnancy there are some hormones that blocks the production of insulin okay this thing that i told us that helps you know um germinates the sugar okay so in pregnancy there is a hormone that blocks this insulin so you see the woman having diabetes when she's pregnant doesn't mean that she had it before okay there may also be um in gestational diabetes causes can also be as a result of um maybe genetic history of diabetes in the family most people that have history of diabetes in the family during pregnancy they may also have um diabetes because of the um insulin that is blocked okay so having known about this let's now talk about the 10 symptoms of diabetes number one increased um test 
okay when you have diabetes when your blood sugar level is high you will notice that you have this increased test okay you want to drink more because there is number two increased urination because your your kidneys are trying to you know remove the excess sugar in the in the blood via urine you know the body has a way of trying to compensate okay when something is going on so your kidney is trying to compensate by trying to remove the excess um, blood sugar glucose in your blood through urine and as it's doing this you're urinating much that is frequent uh, increased urination you're urinating much and then it makes you more thirsty so this is frequent urination um, increased urination and increased thirst your urine volume is usually big it is usually so big okay so these two increase um urination or frequent urine and um increased thirst this is also called polyuria that's big amount of urine number three fatigue as you're urinating your body is getting rid of the glucose you're getting tired you're getting tired because of the glucose you know you need this glucose okay so your body is eliminating it you're urinating the water and everything you see you find out that you're always getting tired that is fatigue okay increased fatigue number four unexplained weight loss unexplained weight loss your body is removing this excess sugar and you know that your body needs the glucose so when you eat your body tries the kidney your body tries to remove the glucose it's not entering your cells your cells okay so there is no way you're, you're not actually getting the glucose you're urinating them out your body is trying to get rid of it so it's not entering your glucose your cells you will see that you start um dropping weight the ones that you have your liver converts it to give you energy okay your adipose tissues the small fat you have your body is converting it to give you energy you're not getting them you're not getting glucose but then your blood sugar is high so this is where the weight loss comes in okay the next symptoms that you may have in diabetes is skin tax skin tax yes this is a sign that you may be having diabetes especially around the crease and having skin tags is, is most people have skin tags. i have skin tags but when it is excess this may be a symptom that you're having diabetes the next one is um blurry vision yes when your vision when your blood sugar level is high there is um your your the the vessels that supplies your blood your eye you know begins to you know enlarge even your lens enlarge and it can cause blood vision and if care is not taken it can burst open and this may be this will be another thing so when you're having blood vision i've mentioned it, even in the case of um high um symptoms of high blood pressure please make sure you see a doctor okay now the next symptoms is skin discoloration especially in the crease of your neck it's as if it is um black black poppish velvet color kind of okay it's quite different from the other colors in your skin notice in this please it may be a sign that your blood sugar level is high okay now the next one is increased um hunger yes remember because your your, your sugar is not getting into your cells the ones that you eat your blood your body is you know germinating them the ones that your adipose tissue your body is also converting it to give you energy you your body wants you to eat so you're eating you're hungry but when you eat the sh the glucose doesn't get inside your cells you get more hungry and you slim and you lose weight and you get more thirsty and you urinate more but your body is just like in a limbo you don't understand what is going on so increase test increase um hunger frequent urination um urinating large amount of urine it's a symptom now the next one is tingling sensation and you know um the blood sugar level when it is high it usually affects the nerves okay so you're having tingling sensation in your hands um and the soles of your feet and numbness sometimes you may not really notice pain or you may not really notice something happens to you or before you notice it somebody pinches you now before you notice it's like about one second apart you now notice it so this may be a sign that your high um the blood your blood sugar level is high okay 
now the next one is reoccurring cyst infection please reoccurring cyst infection i have the video here and how to treat and also urinary tract infection you can watch it um when your blood sugar level is high you are prone to having reoccurring yeast infection yes because sugar yeast infection thrives in sugar like in the prevention of yeast infection remember i told us that and the prevention of urinary tract infection that these things thrive in sugar so you have to reduce the way you consume sugar okay so diabetes having your current yeast infection and you've done all of those things we mentioned that will prevent it and treat it adequately and you're still having it check if you have um high if you if you have diabetes this may be a sign that you have diabetes because it thrives in sugar this is why diabetic people also have diabetes um also have um yeast infection even in urinary tract infection now the next one is delayed wound healing yes when your blood sugar level is high sometimes um you know blood supply is cut off in some certain um part of our body or even slow down okay so this makes you not have a, a um, adequate blood supply to the area where you have um the wound and wound healing will be delayed and then coupled with sugar too blood sugar level is high wound healing is very hard so if you're having delayed wound healing please check your blood sugar level okay the last sign that you're having high blood pressure is actually confirmation by testing you very easy to test your blood sugar level is easy and is sometimes free or very little money it can be tested in the pharmacy if it is high they will let you know if you're on pre-diabetic stage okay they will also let you know okay so please yeah, make sure you check your blood sugar level at least three times in a year but if you're having high blood pressure of course you know you should have the machine a high blood glucose level that's diabetes of course you know you should have the machine okay so for people that has been um confirmed of pre-diabetes okay you just need to do these things that i'm going to say in the prevention of um, diabetes so if you don't have diabetes yet these are the things that will help you prevent diabetes number one reducing alcohol alcohol has lots of glucose and it, it stresses your kidneys too and your liver okay it makes them to work hard so i'm not saying you should not take if you must reduce it okay number two drink lots of water this helps you instead of sodas instead of beverages drink lots of water make sure i'm not asking you not to drink i take them but make sure you drink water more than them and if you eat don't drink these things in place of water okay now the next um prevention of diabetes is especially if you've been diagnosed of diabetes i'm um, sorry pre diabetes you really need to reduce your carbohydrates intake bread all of those things reduces try more vegetables you can eat beans and a lot of veg you can even eat rice white basmatic rice you start eating now when you've been diagnosed of pre diabetes start eating as if you have the diabetes already when they've told you that your blood sugar level is high but you're not diabetic start doing those things that diabetic people do me i don't have diabetes. i do things as if i'm a diabetic you think i'm a diabetic person though sometimes i take beverages sometimes right but you think i'm a diabetic person so you eat basmatic rice with lots of vegetables you know run away from all of these things you can take your biscuits sometimes but when you're pre-diabetes just you know reduce all of those things that you're eating okay reduce them take stop taking um milo and all of those things you can take cocoa you know watch the video on diabetic diets okay for here for especially if you're african you will really it will really help you so eat right the next very important one is exercise work out exercise will really help you in preventing diabetes exercise will help you a lot in preventing diabetes because you know that insulin that we that i explained to us so when you eat your body you also you are helping your body to burn fat so it's reducing the stress your the insulin needed will now not be much okay so the ones you eat you're burning maybe say like you're burning 40 percent and insulin is burning 60 instead of 100 so you see it will really help you a lot especially if you eat food a lot so try to walk lots 
more it will really help you okay the next one is takes lots of fruits vegetable and fiber okay food that has lots of fiber okay for instance you take oat oatmeal um sometimes you purposely take your wheat bread if you must take bread okay just take things that has a lot of fiber this will really help vegetables has lots of fiber okay so very important one is you need to um take some of this natural um herbs like please be aware that herbal mixtures damages your kidney okay um herbs like ginger garlic lemon okay this is really nice carrots smoothies stop taking juice if you're having um pre-diabetic juice there's no fiber in it it's just loaded with sugar even if it's natural sugar it will still increase your blood level sugar level so please juice is out of it take smoothies if you want to okay take ginger garlic sometimes you just eat them raw. sometimes you put it in water hot water okay just it's not every time sweet 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 things okay so these are basically the things that will really help you especially if you've been diagnosed and then you have a history of pre-diabetes your family is hit run away from all these things work out exercise will help you if your family has it it's no more that you have it exercise will really really help you and then if you're on the big side work out try to gain more muscle than fat because when you're resting you're your muscle is burning fat okay it's burning fat is you know giving you high metabolism is helping you so if you can be big it's not more than anybody that is healthy is slim most people that have high cholesterol level are slim so it's not a must that you must be slim okay so build more muscle you can be big but then you have more muscle than fat this is wonderful okay so um that is all about it let me know if you have questions i forgot to tell you that my name is not merit and i'm a nephrology nurse okay ask me questions about dialysis kidney transplant and more or less please like this video so that YouTube can suggest this to other people to watch. Sorry, I took a lot of time. I like explaining things that everybody will understand. Have a wonderful night. Because it's nice here.